This single chemical reaction is crucial to maintaining our health and hygiene. What do you think it is? Why? Soap, of course. Liquid soap, solid soap, soap flakes, and more. This invention might just be the number one method of preventing illness. But do you know how it's made? It all comes down to one chemical reaction, saponification. Saponification is what happens when oils or fats are mixed with an alkali. Alkalis are base-type chemical compounds that dissolve in water. When combined with oil, they create three things, heat, glycerin, and soap. The kind of soap made depends on the type of alkali and oil used, and the ratio of ingredients. It can change how much the soap lathers, how hard it is, and how well it can moisturize skin. You can make soap with olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, and more. Meanwhile, the most common alkalis used are sodium hydroxide for solid soaps and potassium hydroxide for liquid soap. But how do you make it look and smell good? More oil. Fragrance or essential oils give soap a wonderful smell. Additives like herbs, spices, and colorants change its texture and color. For solid soap, all of this is mixed together and then poured into molds. Next step, curing. The soap sits in its mold for three to eight weeks. This is to make sure that excess water evaporates. The longer it cures, the harder the soap is. To make powdered soap, the solid soap is put through a mill, chopping it into fine powder. For liquid soap, it's poured into bottles, ready for shipping. It sounds complicated, but soap is actually really easy to make. Soap making has become its own hobby, with people crafting beautiful and creative pieces in their own kitchen. What do you think? Would you give it a try?